Ford stock is down 17.26%. This will be its uh, lowest close, or this may be its uh, lowest close since uh, the 25th of uh, January of this year, 2024, when it closed at $11.34. It's also on pace for the largest percentage decrease since uh, the 12th of uh, May of 2029, when it fell 17.6%. It's currently down four of the five past days. Currently down three consecutive days, down 19.55% over the over this period. Was three day stretch since the since the three days ending March the, the 18th of March 2020 when it fell 20.07 percent down 9.41 percent month month uh, to date on pace for the worst month uh, since October of 2023 when it fell 21.5 percent down 6.81 percent year to date down 68.9 percent from its all time closing high of 36.53 uh, percent. On the third of May 1999, down 17.26% from uh, 52 weeks ago. That was the 17th of July when it closed at uh, 17. Point, sorry, 13. Point, uh, 73 dollars. But it's also closing up, uh, just cooling off from its um, 52 week high as well. So, given all of that, we can see what's going on right now. Um, gain the loss is now 17.26% as I pointed out earlier, earlier on, uh, this is what's going on, scalpers are definitely taking the, um, advantage of what's going on, you saw that already on uh, the replay of what has been happening, and as much as um, there's weakness, it's uh, but there's, there's also trading opportunities for market uh, scalpers, and I think uh, the news behind this weakness is uh, EVs are not doing well, and uh, Ford invested heavily in them. You know, um, at some point it was uh, very much associated with uh, being an EV company, man. So it's it's not going well for Tesla. It's not also not going well for Ford in terms of EVs. Uh, so this is what's going on right now. So it's printing a new. I think it's just printed a new 52-week low of uh, sorry, new a new intraday low of 11.28 percent. Uh, currently outside of its uh, price channel, there's a good chance we're going to see a rebound. There's a good chance uh, that might uh, play out. Okay, let me see if I can expand this. Expand it a bit more. We might see a rebound. So the loss is 17.52%, uh, let's just see. Some strength might come in. So they might some uh, strength might come in into the stock. So this is uh, where we're at least here we have a Fibonacci projection. So there's a downward projection of 11.11.19. Uh, 11 Below that, there's 11.12. But there are upper projections. We have 11.45, 11.11.87. The all of these are just on the one minute chart. Let's have a look at its uh, three minute chart and see. Yeah, there's a downward projection here of uh, 11.16. Above that, we have 11.11.2, uh, 11.3, 11 11.3 dollars. Above that, we have 11.35. Uh, the projections go all the way towards 11.66 on this uh, on the three hour, on the three minute chart. Let's look at the five minute chart and see. Okay, the Fibonacci projections, we have them here. Okay. Yeah, we have 11.11.1, uh, 11.1. 11 .1. Projections go all the way towards 11.84. 11 Let's quickly go all the way down to its uh, daily chart. Let's see what this has, what has happened to the projections it has there. Let's see whether the the algos have re, the uh, sorry the Fibonacci projections have uh, recalculated. I don't think it has really recalculated, even with um, the fact that it has been. It, this is not the, the, this loss is not a, it's, this is the third straight session of of losses I think for the stock. So the Fibonacci projection still very much intact. So upper projection is uh, thirteen point two eight. Above that we have uh, eight, thirteen point eight seven. Above that we have uh, 14.09, we above that we have 14.2, uh, 14.26, 14 above that we have 14.2, um, 
14.38 above that we have 14.48 um, 14.62 14.85 and all the way towards 15.44 yeah 15.44 it was uh, it actually has a high high of 16.46 uh, this will be sometime in um, some 16 points sometime in uh, sept August of last year yeah so four down 17.59 for 17.59 percent yeah as i mentioned yeah it pulled back slightly into the, it's currently now into inside its uh, price channel so this is how they are making money this is how they are making money they are printing some some amount of money like giving all of this volatility but uh, we're looking at um the weakness is still very much intact so let's see whether we can have a look at its option chain and see what's going on there how things have uh, decayed for the stock on the options pit let's see let's have a look and see what's going on here the calls obviously are uh, getting battered we have looking um, open interests on this on the 1150 is uh, 10,502 are they projecting that um, what are they projecting 11, 11 okay I think um, call volumes okay yeah okay a lot of activity has gone on there probably that uh, probably they're taking more, their money out or they are buying in anticipation of a rebound, a rebound towards uh, those sort of levels there's also $12 open interest of um, Six, sorry, call a volume of uh, six thousand eight hundred forty-eight. Okay, these will expire tomorrow. This will expire tomorrow, and they're also very cheap. Um, this will be twelve dollars to get a contract. Okay, so I think that's this is where the most of much, much of the activity is. We can equally see so here we can see uh, yeah obviously this one's uh, on the, the put side there there's more volume there more activity there they're, they're anticipating probably that um, uh, weak, more weakness is going to remain uh, dominant or weakness will remain uh, dominant so you can see obviously for yourself uh, the 12 1150 strike 19,626 have uh, traded so far Thirteen dollars, uh, twenty-six thousand four hundred fifty-four. Thirteen dollar puts. Yeah, just uh, have a look and uh, see what you make of uh, Ford stock. Uh, let's see what the projections we have here. On the daily chart, we have a rebound of uh, target of thirteen thirteen dollars. So thirteen dollars is where it was trading just uh, two days ago. So I think uh, there's every there's every there's every uh, I mean you wouldn't doubt that at some point in a very near term maybe um, it can rebound to such levels. Indeed, there is a broader market uh, rotation away from um, um, tech stocks and the maybe high, uh, highly capitalized uh, stocks and indeed and indeed uh, it also includes um, Ford as well. You know, yeah so there's a but in any case regardless of all of that you know uh, maybe not anytime soon in the coming sessions in the, yeah, in the coming sessions it can rebound to these sort of levels and the probability of it getting to of, of it printing to that sort of level we can just quickly have a look and uh, see what we can determine in that regard we have uh, we have uh, fortunately I think um, it has uh, printed those sort of prices those sort of prices in a very short time so if we take uh, that we can get we have a, a we have 14.4 uh, 14.02 as, uh, as as it's as it's uh, as it's um, 
10 day moving average 14.02 so we're going to determine an average 14.02 Yeah, this is where I am 14.02 so we have uh, 14.02 there about and then moving all the way sideways we have another um, yeah we have 12.73 this is where I'm getting the, the moving averages from so this one will be 12.73 plus 12.73 divide by Okay, do we add? We add another one. So this happened. This also printed um, not very long ago, 9th of July. So let's see, that's it's the data. The figures are very much close by, not even up to a month. And uh, can we go back all the way towards uh, April? Yes, we can as well. Get another price. Get another figure. We have 13.31. Um, Thirteen point three one. And we move again and get uh, another price. We have another value thirteen point zero nine. Okay, fifty three point one five. The problem is that I've not been adding the I've not been adding the I've not been adding the uh, I've not been picking up the standard deviations but if we divide all of this by four we might just get a sense of 13.28 so 13.28 uh, is the average we have so if you infer if you refer that to what's going on then you can easily see that the probability of a rebound is a very strong one it's uh, I can't exactly say um, okay, if we take um, okay, we can see quickly pick up their their standard deviations. We have uh, standard deviation will be zero point four one seven nine. Let me impute. Uh, let me add this value here. Thirteen point two eight seven five. So let's uh get more standard deviations so we have uh, 0 0.4179 0 0.4179 0 0.3174 Okay, we use zero point three one one zero. Plus the next standard deviation will be zero point three one two three. Divide by four, we have zero point three three nine seven. Okay, zero point three three nine seven thirteen point two eight seven five. And the projection we have is, uh, let's see. Okay, projection we have is um, 13.28. Okay, yeah. Okay, if you want, if you the probability of it getting there is uh, 
just going to be modest. The probability of it surpassing that is uh, roughly 50% or thereabouts. So that's quite modest. Probably probability of it surpassing 13.28 uh, is 50.88%. Um, okay. Um, but also, if you want to find out the probability of a rebound, you can now use um, current price and uh, the standard deviation and this and the current price will be 11.24 and um Standard deviation is uh, sorry, ten day moving average is thirteen point eight five and standard deviation standard deviation is nine one six two zero point nine one six two. Okay, the probability of a rebound is uh, 99.781. Yeah, probability of a rebound is uh, probability that it will rebound and uh, yeah, of a rebound, you can see that this is the, the probability that it will surpass 11.24%, 99.7171%. Uh, so uh, have a look and uh, see what this, what uh, if there's any opportunity in uh, this, uh, decay we are looking at in uh, Ford stock and I uh, will continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.